it was supposed to be very dynamic. So, <laughs> you guys have bought your new MacBook Air or MacBook Pro or whatever MacBook with silicon chip and you are excited, you're Ah, you open it and there you go, shiny, beautiful thing. And you might be wondering, okay, so I installed the system, the system is pre-installed actually, and what three apps do I really need? And there's a lot of tips on the internet, what apps to install on your new MacBook Air or MacBook Pro, and there's a lot of baloney there. Like, most of those apps, I, I just don't use them. Like Evernote, I don't use Evernote. I use only Google, uh, you know, like tools and calendar and all this kind of stuff. So in most cases, I found these apps irrelevant, but there are, there are apps that you really need and all the apps we'll be presenting today are free. So I'm putting this thing away. Let's plug in our Mac. Ooh, 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 look at this baby. One, rectangle. And there's a popular app called Magnet, but this app is paid. And the main difference between rectangle and, um, what did I say, Magnet? <laughs> is that rectangle is free. So the only thing you go, you, you do is you type in rectangle Mac, and then you just download free app, you install it. You have to grant permissions for this app to work. And then when you drag the window to the left side of the screen or you drag the window to the right side of the screen, it stays, it occupies like, like for example, half of the screen or quarter of the screen, depending on the setting and depend if you drag it to the left side or for example, left or right top corner. This is something that Windows users are used to and it's by default in Windows, so you don't need extra app in Windows. But you will thank me for that because it's very, very, very easy to make your desktop and your, you know, like all the windows on Mac OS very messy. And most of users will find this app absolutely crucial and vital to organize their windows. Number two, CC Cleaner, or no, C Cleaner. Yeah, it's 2C, so I always want to see 2CC, but it's C Cleaner. C Cleaner, is a free app, there's also a paid version of this app. However, why do you need that? Um, a lot of people say, oh, I want to clean my Mac, I want to unclutter, like there's a lot of, uh, you know, like trash on my hard drive and I need to clean my Mac. And clean my Mac is a good application, however, having said that, is a paid application and it's not that cheap. However, in case of CCleaner, you can have it for free. Paid version does have some extra features, but to me, the free version does everything I need because it's basically cleaning redundant files from your hard drive to keep everything clean, smooth, and operating at full speed. So, the extra advantage to CCleaner after installing it from its website is that also it kinda do this similar job as iStats menus which is a very valuable, by the way, a very valuable app, by the way, I have a little bit of running nose, sorry for that. But, but this one is for free, it's less extensive, it cleans your hard drive, and when you click on it, it can actually show you CPU, GPU usage, temperatures and fan usage, and hard disk usage. So basic stats are already there, so you don't need iStats, unless you need something very, very, very elaborate. Number three. Next one on the list is Google Chrome. So next app you want to install is Google Chrome and Google Chrome is just the best app out there, the best like browser, web browser out there. And, and, and period, uh, you know, like Safari is good. I, I tend to use it some, sometimes and it's not bad. I'm not saying it's not working, but Chrome will work with absolutely every script, with every website and most of websites are just optimized for that browser mainly you know, in principle. <laughs> so basically Chrome is something you want. And again, be careful to download the, the right version of Chrome, the Chrome that is optimized for Apple Silicon. Fortunately enough, 
the website will already like know if this is Apple Silicon that you are using M1, M2 or M3 chip or the Intel version and it will automatically download the right correct version. You just install, log in and you have everything synced and mainly I love it because it's so beautifully integrated with all Google Chrome, um, Google Chrome, uh, sorry, Google uh, services like Google Calendar, Gmail, something that we use on a daily basis. So this is something you will really need. Number four, VLC media player. Just make sure to download the right one because there you have on their website, you have a drop down list of the versions you want to download. So you want to download the one Mac Silicon, Apple Silicon. So this is what you want to download and this is one of the best media players on Mac. And basically I use it all the times. So if you want to play MP3 files, video files or whatever type of files, this is what you want and VLC will come handy um, very soon. You can also watch videos with subtitles <coughs> uh, like SRT text. Uh, I use it for example to review my drone footage if my drone records subtitles uh, with longitudes, uh, <laughs> magnitudes, altitude, everything. You know what I mean. Yeah. So VLC is something you really want. It's a great media player for Mac. Of course, it's available for Windows too. Number five. Next one and the last one on our list is something to have fun and this is Asphalt. <laughs> Asphalt 9 is a super well optimized car game that looks beautiful on Mac. It runs on every Apple Silicon uh, period and basically if you have even the basic, basic, basic MacBook Air with M1 chip, it will run very smooth. You can just plug in any controller you have. In this case, I'm having like Xbox controller that I just like the most and after hooking up this controller you can enjoy a very good game so you had a productive day you did a lot of good stuff you organized your windows <laughs> and now you can easily kick back relax and play Asphalt 9 This is it guys, I hope you find this video uh, informative and entertaining and if you do, please don't forget to leave, don't forget to leave thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, comment below if I forget to mention some important software that you use and it's for free and please join me on the next one. Cheers. Finish! <laughs> Made it! <laughs>